Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. I'm just going to put the light on, but I'm actually coming on to do my April Pick 10 prompt video. So just let me put the light on. See if that helps at all. I've um, moved things around in my craft room, so my desk is now against the window, so hopefully that gives some light as well. And I do plan to do a um, craft room tour somewhere. Right, so let's get on with these prompts. If you've not seen this video before, I do have to get up and down and get things and stuff like that, so um, bear with me for that sort of thing. So let's get started. So, number one is use a sponge. So Let's write this down because I'll put the prompts in the more box as well so i've got a sponge and let's get some paint i think i'm going to go for this green color as spring is slowly um starting to happen i could have used this through a stencil but i don't feel like it so i think i'm just going to do a dotty border Sorry, that's the tap going. I've um, just filled up the water pot because obviously I don't know what prompts I'm going to get. So I thought I'll fill up the um, water now. So I'm going to do a border. Just thought that'd be fun. Oops, and I've got a bit more paint than I needed. I might do a colour in between that. So have I got a yellow? Yes, I have. So I've now put myself um, on a craft freeze again as, um, yeah, <laughs> credit card really does need a sort out. I, ha I have been a bit naughty lately so I do need to start being good again. So let's have some yellow as well. And I'm not going to worry if the colours um, smudge into one another after all it's just a relaxing thing to do it's not a masterpiece and I'm not great at masterpieces anyway I've done some of this a little bit thick so it might take a little while to dry nice fun that spring colours we need some bright colours it's been a bit drizzly here today I'm filming this on Tuesday the 16th so um I must stop saying so, but I think when you get in the habit of saying something, it just happens. Um, yeah, it's a bit drizzly today. And I thought, what a good day just to come on and do this. Right, so that was number one. And also, where I've moved my desk, I'm nearer to most of my paints now, so I'm not getting up and down so much. This paint won't get wasted, don't worry. I um, will put it on a book page and something. Right, and then use it in my flowers, I mean. Glitter glue. I oh right, yes I have got glitter glue. I'm lying. Glitter glue. Right, let's get some glitter glue. Um let's have blue. So I think that's gonna go quite nicely with this. And hopefully it's not bound up. Oh, what am I gonna do with the glitter glue? I like, don't mind the prompts, it's just thinking what to do with it. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a border inside this one. It seems to be, let's do a wiggly, wiggly border. Just because we can. <laughs> in fact, I think I might put, let's put some dots in, well, blobs as it's coming out like. It ha my hands aren't great today, so trying to do something where it looks like something is not going to happen. So yeah, we'll add some blobs. So I just want to say again, thank you to my new subscribers. I have subscribed back to everybody that I could. Because um, I've said before, if your subscribers are hidden, I can't subscribe back to you. So I have subscribed to the people that I could. So thank you. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for that. Right, that is glitter glue. I think we've got enough going on there. Number three. 
I promise I'm not looking at them so I don't know what's coming. So the third one is washi tape. So I'm going to dry this off a bit and I will come back in a bit. Right, so I've dug out the washi tape. So I've got three rolls here. They're from the Tim Holtz one. It's a butterfly one. Um, so I think I'm just going to do... That's hard, sort of, make a bit of a border. So these are just some thin washi tapes. My paint's still not fully dry, but it would have been hours otherwise. So I um, thought I'd leave it a bit wet. And if I get paint on me, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, so this was all Tim Holtz washi tape. Just a little treat to myself a little while back. I actually have to um, really cut back on that. Right, let's do the silver again. Just so we've got a bit of something going on in the middle. And I know it's not straight. I cannot do straight lines to save the life of me, even with rulers. <laughs> right, okay, so that is washi tape. Uh, number four, use ribbon. Is that really getting me to use a mixture of stuff? Use ribbon. Right, let's go and find some ribbon. Right, I'm going to use some of this bright yellow ribbon. I get a lot of my ribbon from Fantastic Ribbons. Sorry, me leaning across there. Yes, yeah, so that's mainly where I get my ribbons from, is Fantastic Ribbon. And I'm going to put the pin back in this before I prick myself, because that is so mean. So, yeah, it's this really nice bright yellow organza ribbon. Are you seeing everything? OK, I might just come in just a bit closer. And... Yep, yeah, I think that's a better angle. Yeah, trying to get used to the try. I mean, it's in the same position I've always had it on the desk, but because I'm at a different angle, it's just trying to get used to the best angle for it. So I'm just going to trim these ends a bit and maybe shrink the bow. Sorry, I was making the bow off camera, but I'm sure most of us know how to make bows. And we know these little bits won't get wasted. And I think I'm just going to put that bow right in the middle of those. That's where it's going to go, right in the middle there. Come on. I'm going to peel back there now, just because it didn't like the glitter tape. Right, so I'm going to put a nice big bow there. So that's ribbon. I could do more, but I'm quite happy with that. And I'm leaving this space just in case it throws a curveball at me. So number five is use an envelope or pocket envelope or pocket. Right. Um, let me just have a little look and I'll be... So, for my pocket, I found one that I made a while back to use in some journals and stuff. So it's just like one that I've collaged and stuff. So yeah, let's turn this into a pocket. Let's get some tape. Sorry, I keep leaning across. It's because I've got things that way, so I do apologise for keep seeing my arm pop across. It's not the most exciting thing to look at my arm. So I hope everybody's doing all right and keeping out of mischief as best you can. Because a bit of mischief is rather fun, I think. You know, can't be perfect all the time now, can we? Well, I know I can't. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, come on, do a few videos today. And then I've got a few to upload. And I must remember to draw the winner of my giveaway. Because um, I'm starting to do hidden giveaways each month. So I need to draw the April one. 
I thought it's a bit of fun because you don't know when it's going to crop up and yeah, makes it a bit of fun. Right, so I'm getting attacked by red liner tape now, so I'm going to pop this pocket here. So I suppose I should put something in there, but I might wait until we see what we get. And I think I've just put glitter glue all over my face. <laughs> right, number six. Stamp. Okay, stamp. Oh, crumbs. Right, let's grab a stamp. This. Oops, sorry, that's just gone crash bang wallop. And I've got a stamp block. So that makes it a bit easier. Sorry, I'm digging around here getting my stamps. This is why these sort of videos, you know, are a bit of a pain. You do have to get up and down and get things, but it keeps me fit. And an ink pad. I might go for this hot pink. Right. So the stamps that I'm using, I don't know if it's still current because stamping up is slowly retiring stuff, but it's the Crafting Forever one, which is one of the sets you have to use if you want to sell anything with stamping up on it. You have to use one of these images inside or on the back to prove that, you know, you've got the thing. So let's decide which stamp. I think I might use this one with the twine wrapped around it. And I've got a hot pink ink. Well, it's actually called Rosebud and it's a memento one, but I think it's quite a bright pink from what I remember. So let's do one there. So yeah, it's quite a nice image, really. I know I haven't done it the right way or anything, but... As you can see, I'm a bit out of room. Let's put one on there. This is why I normally do these on A4 um, paper, because you do run out of room a little bit. And we'll pop one there. Right, I'm going to call that done, because I still need space for the other prompts. Look, I'm getting attacked now. So now I'm just going to stamp this off. And give it a clean. Clean that up in a bit. <laughs> right, number seven. Use purple. Okay. Use purple. Um, so I've got some purple paint. So let's put a little bit of this out. Let's get a paintbrush. There's a paintbrush. That's thinnable. That's thin enough. And as you will know, if you've watched my videos, you will know I'm no artist, so I'm just going to colour in. It's because I'm trying not to get my arm in the paint. Oops, I didn't do a good job there. Um, let's doodle on this. Let's do some big purple blobs on this yellow. See, technical term, big purple blobs. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I can't draw or anything like that. But I love arty stuff. You know, I like painting. And I used to do a lot of the paint by numbers when I was younger. I still like them now. You know, if I found one on a reasonable offer, then I'd probably still um, get it. So I do like paint and things. I like the pick tans and doing the mixed media sort of journal covers that I do. I know they're not perfect, they're just very basic, but crafting's meant to be enjoyable to do. So um, I just hope people like the things that I do when I make my journals and things and cards. 
I, I just like too many crafts. I know I've said that before, but I definitely like too many crafts. <laughs> so I'm trying to sort out what I really want to do. Right, so we've done some purple blobs there. Um, just trying to think. I might just go around this pocket with a bit of the purple. Add a bit of paint to it, why not? No, Lord Sona can't. <laughs> right. Just a bit of paint there. Right, so we've used purple. So we're on number eight. We're getting near the end. You'll be glad to see me gone. Use teal. Oh my. Use teal. Just trying to think what I've got teal. So I'm going to dry this off again and have a think of something in teal. So I will see you again in a bit. Right, so for teal, I did have to dig around quite a bit. For it being my favourite colour, I actually don't have a lot in that. So I did find these three big buttons, and I'm just praying that buttons don't come up as a prompt. Well, if it does, I like buttons, so... So I'm just going to use double-sided tape to put them. And I always try not to do too much on that side where I'm going to punch it, because I keep it in a... Um, keep these pages in a folder so I'm just going to do a little cluster of buttons up there and they're teal so to me I think I'm alright <laughs> I'm okay I can get away with this one <laughs> I mean you could use stencils ribbon whatever takes your fancy of what you want to add I always think it's fun to see other people's pick tens, especially when I used to, um, before Cindy Utter started doing her Crazy Eights, when she did the pick ten, and I used her prompts. It was quite interesting to see the different things she used and stuff. So I did find that quite fun. Right, number nine. Leave white space, okay. So we've got white space, so... Leave white space, that's quite a good one. So whatever I put down now, I mustn't cover up the bit of white space. That's a nice simple one. So really, last one is stamp a background. Well, we can't do that because we need to leave white space. So let's try again. And we've got a doily. Okay, I can do that. Doily. So I think I'm going to put something on this doily. And can I still... Let's move this button. Let's move that up to there. And we'll just move this to one side. Because I'm going to decorate this doily a little bit to pop in the pocket. So what shall we pop on here? Let's use some of this paint up. So I'll add a bit of yellow paint in the middle and some of this green and then we're not and we'll just change this a bit, make it a bit grungy and what should we pop in the middle? Let's put a sticker in the middle because I've got some stickers. I can see what I want, I just can't get hold of it. So, let's put these butterfly stickers on it. I don't know if you can see, I got them a little while back. So let's put some of these blutter, butterflies, butterflies even. We'll get, oh, typical me, thumb that's straight in the paint and glue. Right, so we've got this doily. So once the doily's dry, I will tuck... Actually, I won't tuck that in there. I, I'm going to stick that there. So let me just get some glue. And I'm going to stick that on there. I was going to put it in the pocket, but then I thought you won't see the um, butterflies. So let's just put a bit of 
tacky glue on there and we will stick that there. So that is my um, prompt page done for April. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all again soon with something. Take care. Bye.